Hey, my name is Ovi and I'm excited to bring to you a new tutorial series in which we will build a smart city infrastructure using the Raspberry Pi and an Arduino. The software that we are going to use for this project is called Wildin Studio and we will be using the Streams Visual Programming Language which is based on IBM's Node-RED. In this video we'll make a simple blinking LED but first you must get Wildin Studio, so please go to www.wildin.org and download it. Now that you have Wildin Studio up and running, the next step is to connect your board to it. For this, go to Help, Setup and select the board you want to use. In our case it's the Raspberry Pi and simply follow the step-by-step -step instructions that you see there. After you're done with the board setup, please make sure the board is connected to the same network as your computer and power it up. Now let's go back to Wildling Studio and click on the connect button. Now you should see the board listed in the pop-up. If the board is not listed, that might mean that the board is still booting up, so it should be there in a few seconds. Next, in order to connect to the board, click on it and now we must enter the username and password. The default username for the Raspberry Pi is Pi and the password is Raspberry. And we are connected. The hardware required for this tutorial is one Raspberry Pi, one LED, one 200 ohm resistor, jumper wires and the breadboard. For the wiring, just follow the schematics and make sure that the LED has the shorter leg connected to the resistor. And the final result should look something like this. For the programming part, let's go back to Wiring Studio and let's create a new application. So we'll open the projects menu, click on create new application, we will select the streams programming language and we will name the application LED Blink. And now we have our new application. And as you can see by default, we are in the notebook area, which is used for documentation purposes. So let's go ahead and switch on the application area. Here you will see the user interface for the streams visual programming language. And on the left, you will see the blocks that we will use for the program we will create. For this program, we only need three nodes and any streams programming language starts with the run node. Then we will need the function node we will connect the two and last we will need a digital write node which will also connect. Now let's go back to the run node. Double clicking any node will open its properties panel and what the run node does is to send the payload at the certain interval which is every one second in our case and the payload right now it's uh, the timestamp and we want to change that to times because we want to send the number of times that the LED has been blinking and the interval is fine so we just hit OK. Next let's open the JavaScript node and let's name it, let's say function and what this uh, node does is to allow us to write our own JavaScript code so we will use this line uh, what this line of code does is to take the payload from the message sent by the first node, divide it by two and uh, store the remainder of the division in the message payload. This means that the new message will either be one or zero. The function returns just one of those values depending on the case. The last node is the digital write node. It will ask for the pin number as a parameter. So let's double click it and specify pin number zero the one our LED is connected to. Now the node will write the value received one or zero on the selected pin. Finally, let's actually run the code. So what this will do is to compile the code and deploy it on the board. Okay. And our LED is blinking. That concludes this episode. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoy our content, please subscribe to our channel.